What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Keep in mind that the game of War Thunder is a very opinionated based game and this is just only my opinion. So no need to get too angry in the comments and your opinion is always welcome. So just let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Anyways, so the F-15A is once again in a very interesting spot. I was looking for a plane to make a video on and I was kind of tired of, you know, playing the Fox 3 spam and I wanted something that was more lower BR and I came across and decided to fly the F-15A and I realized the F-15A is in a very, very weird spot where Gaijin's going to have a hard time or is having a hard time balancing it out because it's at a BR where it can get down tiered and fight just F-4S's and it does a pretty good job or it can get up tiered and do a pretty terrible job. But I noticed it sat more of a, more like an at tier than an up tier. It seemed like it wasn't getting up tiered very often when I played it and it wasn't, you know, the down tiers were very, very nice to play. It was quite refreshing. And the plane just seemed really, really broken once again. And I feel like this could cause some issues for Gaijin. Not a whole lot of people are playing the F-15A. Um, everyone's going to the F-15C, which is understandable. I mean, the F-15C is just better. So sitting at 13.0, I've noticed that the 12.0 down tiers are happening quite a bit. And with the Tomcat spam, the 12.0 lobbies are quite full, so you're not really getting pushed up. And if you are getting pushed up or other planes are getting pushed down, it's only a few aircraft. So it hasn't been too out of hand with the Fox 3 spam. Now, the F-15A was a, you know, it was a pleasant surprise that reminded me that the F-15s are very, very good aircraft and they can maintain to continue to come in the tech trees as very good aircraft. We only have two versions in the U.S., the F-15A and the F-15C, and very likely that we're going to be getting more models of uh, said aircraft, probably going to be getting at least, I would assume at least three more for the U.S. The F-15E, probably another F-15C version, and probably another F-15E version, and eventually we'll, we'll probably get the F-15EX way, way later on. I'm sure we'll see maybe a, a, a A-10A or a F-15A early or an A-late or something. I mean, there's a lot. We already have an A-late, honestly, because the F-15A, originally when it came in, did not have uh, countermeasures, so... Pretty sure we have the late version that's in game right now. So I don't know. Either way, there's still still a bit of F-15 to get added to the game. And obviously, I don't. It's hard for me to say this and actually get, try to get a point across here that the F-15 is not broke, broken. Like I understand it. I'm saying it's Gaijin doesn't not know how where to put this plane because really it's it's at that spot where it's a good aircraft that can compete at top tier, but it's in a spot where it gets down-tiered to planes that don't really have a chance. I mean, I'm assuming most of you guys are very intelligent, or at least somewhat intelligent, and understand that the F-15A going up against F-4 Phantoms is broken. Like, it's not exactly fair. And, I mean, in terms of arsenal alone, you carry some very good weapons. You get four AM-9Ms, which already puts it on par with what top-tier aircraft get, and you get four AM-7Ms. So, you know, AIM-7s are not AMRAMs, but they are very capable Fox 1s. I mean, you can't shy away from them, and they're definitely a usable missile. I think the big thing with balancing out this aircraft is just kind of keeping it where it's at, honestly. I mean, I know I'm saying that this aircraft might need to go up, and it, it should in the future. I personally, I still think there should be a 14.0, and this plane should sit at 13.3, just to help keep Phantoms and other aircraft that in the 12 region away from this thing because it really is not necessarily fair not not trying to package the f4s player group anymore but it just this thing really outdoes any aircraft it comes in competition with mig 29s uh f4s f14s i mean even if you get out bvr'd by tomcats with fox 3s you still have all of the good dedicated weapons like the AIM-7 and the AIM-9 and then the Vulcan, which is a very, very good gun. One of my favorite, if not my favorite. I do really like the 27mm as well. I mean, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the F-15A Eagle. Take it out for yourself. It was a, it was a very nice change of pace from the F-15C and from other F-15s. And I've been, 
I haven't been playing the F-15C a whole lot recently just because I've been tired of the of the top tier shenanigans and the Fox 3 spam. But it, it, it was just nice to be able to take something out that, even if it saw top tier, was still fun to use. And like I said, even in a full up tier to 13-0, you're still, you're still competitive. I mean, worst case, you fly low with your radar off. And with the changes to the HMS, where you can now use it at much longer ranges, I've actually found that to be a pretty viable strategy, just run around with the radar off. Just, you know, using your HMS and your 9Ms. I mean, the 9M is very good. Even if you just sit low and HMS and 9M or 7M, it, it just works. I mean, you're still going to die to Fox 3s. and You're definitely out BVR'd by a lot of different things. But it's definitely not an aircraft to shy away from. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are down below in the comments. Please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We're trying to hit 2K before the end of the year. Make sure to join the Discord. That'll be linked in the description and uh, do let me know what your thoughts are. I know I said this game's opinion, and this is only my opinion, but I would like to hear what everyone else's thoughts are on the F-15A. And uh, how many F-15 versions do you guys think we're going to see in the tech tree? Do you think we're going to get one more, two more, three more, five more? It's definitely an aircraft that we'll see more of, at least at, least at bare minimum, two more versions, an, F, an F-15E and probably an E-2 or a... Uh, another f-15c model and i'm sure like i said in the future future we'll see the ex anyways that's gonna be it for this one like i said please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and comment your thoughts down below and uh, thanks for watching the video